So why are you doing this? So we're trying to understand how dogs exert self-control. So we know that this causes a lot of problems for dogs because they swipe things off the counter and just generally don't have a whole lot of self-control. So we hope by understanding how they inhibit their impulses to do things that we'll figure out what parts of the brain do this and then in the future that knowledge will help us train dogs and help them overcome these problems. And how are you going to do this? So we're going to use a task well known in psychology called the go no go task. It's called that because go means you go to a target and no go means you don't go. So it's specifically in the no-go conditions where the person or the animal has to exert self-control. And the way we're going to train this is in three steps. So the go condition or the go task is for the dogs to touch this target with their nose. And we're going to train them to do this to a dog whistle. Just like that, the dog will have to touch their nose to the target. This should be very easy for the dogs to learn with enough practice. We'll start training on the floor and then we will move to putting the target in the chin rest. Okay, so that will be the first two steps. Floor training number one, then moving to the chin rest number two. Once they're very good at that, we will continue to use this hand signal to remind them that when they're in the chin rest, that means don't move and you will get a reward. Okay. So that will continue while we're doing the whistle, and then other trials will be this, means don't move. The final thing that we will do is pair those two things together. So they will hear the whistle, but also while we hold up the hand signal, which is the signal to not go. That's the no-go signal, and they're going to have to override the impulse to touch the target. So this is going to be fairly challenging because they're going to have to first learn the behavior and then they're going to have to learn that the hand signal means don't go on that behavior. And so this will take a fair bit of practice. Excellent. You are so good. So good. One more time. Excellent. The process begins with the dog positioning its head in the correct manner. The whistle is then blown and the dog responds accordingly by touching its nose to the indicated target. Now, let's exemplify this. Now he's touching it. 